All right, everybody, I apologize. Um, we got really, really busy today, Bobby and I, with the, uh, everything else that was going on. And I had, my, I had some other more important business-related things I was dealing with. Um, and we forgot to do golf. I don't say we forgot. We just, you know, we just prioritized other things today. Uh, I did put up the survivor thing. We did some baseball, and I just forgot to do golf today. It's uh, the week after the U.S. Open, so it's not the, you know, not everybody's paying attention. But the the prize pools are still enormous on DraftKings. Still two hundred thousand for first in that big tournament. So I put the same amount of work in this week as I did otherwise, and. I just want to just, for those of you that are interested, I am just going to go on and just tell you what I, what I came up with. Um, this is just kind of, again, this is kind of my spreadsheet, the way I kind of just analyze things. And, um, and again, what, what it's about is, is getting good, well projected guys, but also putting some low owned guys also. And I just want to just give you a couple of, couple of nuggets out there, guys that I'm playing. And if, uh, you know, if you're interested, here we go. So at the top of the of, of the list is going to be Will Zalatoris, and there's going to be some pronunciation issues throughout this. I mean, he you know kind of had his coming out party at, at the U.S. Open this past week, and um, he'd been killing it on the Corn Ferry Tour apparently. And I, I almost feel like kind of a chump playing him just because he's just so obvious. Um, he does rate to be the best play, um, and he also rates to be the highest owned. Um, I have him at average ownership, maybe about 25%. So I'm a little torn of what to do with him. I'm probably just going to lock him in. Okay. He is, he is definitely the best play. Um, and the reason why I can lock him in is that there, I have, I have some, some hoodoos that are going to be very, very low owned that I can throw in there also. Um, now, the next best play, as far as I'm concerned, is actually Jonathan Vegas. And he's only 7,700. So for him, again, I'm going to have a whole bunch of him. Because you see that his average ownership is only 11%. So I'm definitely going to have a bunch of him. So I'd say a good amount of my line is probably going to have Zalatoris and Vegas in it. And as you can see, you can afford to do, like, a lot of different stuff here. Um, but then these other guys I want to kind of highlight. I want to highlight guys that I think you should probably fade based on what I have and guys kind of like who do's to throw in there. So um, Denny McCarthy is, is about supposed to be at 16, 15% owned. And I don't like him really that much at all. I, I'd fade him. Um, Zhang Zhang, uh, again, 15% owned, probably not going to get to him too much. But again, if I do, it's going to be with some of like the, the lower, the lower owned guys, Pat Perez, again, he's just, you know, Adam Long, these guys shouldn't be 15% owned as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Corey Connors is fine. Kenzie Hughes at 23%. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get all that much of him. So let me just kind of highlight these guys. I'm not going to get too into the details of like all the, 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 the rationales. I'll just kind of cut right to it. Um, uh, Bo Hostler, I like him a lot, and he's going to be only 3% owned. So, you know, I'm going down with that. Kurt Kitayama, and that's an easy pronunciation for me. Uh, under 10%, 7%. Grayson Murray, really, really cheap, and he's going to be 4%. And then, and then the 1% owned killer, Kira Detch, a Fibernrot. This is going to be the man. Kira Detch, a Fibernrot at 1%. Uh, so I'm definitely going to play him. Uh, and as you see, I mean, like, this is the way I kind of look at it. I have my, um, whatchamacallit. Ooh, I think I might be frozen a little bit. I think they froze me for trying to pronounce Kiradech a Fibernaut. Uh, but if he wins, I mean, we're freaking heroes. And you see, I mean, like, I rank these guys based on different value, right, value metric, and then I just kind of just see average ownership where I can get some kind of leverage. So I'll look for guys that, that rate high that are low owned. So uh, Vaughn Taylor, I think he's going to be higher owned than this for some reason, because people have heard of him. Doug Gim, maybe, eh, maybe not. But these are, these are, these are the, 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 the guys, the, 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 the mad scientist plays the Kiradech, 
the Grayson Murray, uh, Kurt Kitayama, and Bo Hustle. That plus the very chalky uh, Zalatoris. I'll probably have him in every lineup, and I'll probably have Jonathan Vegas in most every lineup. And again, we're only talking about probably 20 lineups I'm playing. We'll see. Um, I promise you I will have 100% of either. We'll, uh, 100% of my lineups will have either Zalatoris or Jonathan Vegas. Maybe all of them will have both of them. That I haven't figured out yet. Uh, that's it. Uh, hope you guys play. Hope you guys win. And that's about it.